Hey, TEDx Greenville, thanks for taking a little bit of time to hear my idea we're spreading. My idea we're spreading is called House Calls for Recovery. My name is Rich Jones. I'm going to take a minute to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a person of long-term recovery myself. So 14 years ago, I was able to change the trajectory of my life. I was able to access the help that was available to me and find recovery, and my life has changed beyond belief. I've been able to go back to school, get a couple degrees, I've been able to find a career, I've been able to become a therapist and help people, raise a family, all these wonderful things, become a contributing member of society. The issue is, is that my story is an exception to the rule. Most people with this particular issue never access the help available. 23 million people in America, and out of those 23 million people in America who have this particular problem, only about 10% will access help. And when you dig into it, what you'll find, when you talk to that 20 million people who did not access help, and you ask them why you didn't access help, they'll tell you it's because they didn't need help. It's what's commonly known as denial. It's, uh, it's one of the most common symptoms of the disease of addiction. What's really, really interesting is we set up a system where we sit back and wait for these people to come. We've been waiting for these people to come for 40 years. And when they don't show up, we say they're in denial, they'll come see us when they hit bottom and they really want help. I'm of the opinion that we might want to rethink that. I'm of the opinion that we might want to find a way to address the symptom of denial because it's a predictable symptom of the disease. Happens more cases than not. Actually, the truth is it happens in all cases. So what I propose is this idea of taking recovery to the individual rather than waiting for the individual to come get recovery. Why should it be okay for us just to sit back? Why should, why should a person have to get in a car and drive to a clinic? Why should a person have to get in a car and drive to a meeting? Why don't we find a way to go connect with them? It happens in other areas of healthcare all the time. In mental health, for example, there are services such as intensive case management or assertive community treatment where we have found creative ways to go out to patients' homes, visit them in the homes. Psychiatrists will even go along and see the patient in the home. There's home health care services. Nursing staff and other staff will go out to the home and visit people who can't get into the clinic because we've, we've seen it as necessary to connect with those patients. The truth is, stigma is the reason we don't go and help people who have a substance use disorder because those people have to want help in order to get help. So I say, let's turn this thing on its head. Can you just imagine, picture it, Saturday morning, my man's been out all night, had a rough night. He has a hangover. I come to his door. He's, he's agreed to in-home services. I come to his door. I knock on the door. Hey, it's Rich. Can I come in and talk to you a little bit? The power of that conversation, even if I talk to him for 15 minutes, the power of that conversation far exceeds anything that can be done in any therapist's office anywhere in the world. In the moment, in the home, effective, useful services. Let's change this process. Let's save some people. Thank you very much.